With the sounds of the musical 42nd Street echoing, Grand Central Terminal turned 100 years old. Of course it's a big deal. 100 years is awesome. Um, yeah, it's a great place. <laughs> Crowds of commuters and tourists became a part of history Friday during the centennial celebrations. Celebrities, even former Met star Keith Hernandez, joining in. Welcome everybody to New York's other great playing field. The building, built in 1913, was supposed to be demolished. Former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis helped save it. Now some 750,000 people pass through here each and every day. The transformation has been so wonderful that we'll just come here to meet for lunch even if we're not doing anything with the trains. A birthday party wouldn't be complete without some toys. This replica of Grand Central, built by Legoland of Yonkers, uses 2,000 blocks. Oh, it feels fantastic because we're so new and obviously Grand Central is so old, it just goes together very well. And of course, if you want a bit of a throwback 100 years, I've heard you can actually get a shoe shine for 10 cents. Yes, 10 cents. That's the 1913 prices just for today. Whether it's your first trip into Grand Central or 100th, railroad engineer Mike Kurtzberg says there's nothing like it. The aura of the terminal, it's just, uh, you know, just a fantastic place. Uh, it's like the capital of New York. In Midtown Manhattan, Grace News, News 12.